Hello and welcome to the 29th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at Import Group Button Add-ons. We'll be using the source code from the 26th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a Import Group setup. In the Import Group add-on we can put a button inside it. You could do this to submit that input data for checking perhaps without sort of submitting all the paid or submitting all the various inputs. So for example, if you have if you've got a registration system and you're typing, let's say, your email address, you could have a check button or a go button which just checks is it a valid email address. Also, is it even available? Because chances are you're going to want your email address to be unique in your database. So, to implement this, it's extremely simple. Let's show you the code. Just open up your index.html in a text editor. All you need to do is replace the input group add on span right here I'm just gonna do it with one of them as we got here input group add-on we, we, we can just actually get rid of this put span and this is gonna have a class not of input group add-on but input group button and inside here we're gonna have a button and this is gonna have a class of button and btn dash default obviously you can do a different type of button so it looks different which we already covered earlier in this series and the type will be button and inside here we're simply going to put go save that and now if we open the, this up in our web browser scroll down as you can see we've got our input and we also have a go button and it's attached right next to it. As an extra task, check out what the button add on looks like on the right aka here. The next tutorial will cover input group button drop downs. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description as well. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.